Well, what's up guys, we're back here, and we're back in some Slay the Spire modded. So, looking at the mods, I think I added two new mods this time. Um, I think they were in the set last time, I just did not have them checked. Uh, as such, we didn't have them. Uh, Heberus, content expansion mod, new cards, relics, events, and monsters. And then the Master Trainer. Uh, adds a new character, who eventually we will try out. I'm not sure what they... Uh, yep, looks like Mr. Mine. Uh, we played the silent last time. We're gonna go in as the defect. Kind of keep going with this generic style of play. Um, let's see. I really like the crack core. I think we'll just transform a card. Uh, max HP is not really that interesting. I don't really want to curse, so we'll get rid of a strike. This steam barrier, so we are a little more defensive, which could be good, could be bad. Thorn. So this is a thorn bush. So he has two thorns, and he's intending to attack. Okay. So, what do we get about that? Is we'll just double defend. Oh, I should have single struck. I think we'll let our orb do most of the damage here, though. Seems like a good way to uh, go about this. I don't have to take any thorns damage. Actually, yeah. Let's say I can strike again, but I want to maximize my defense before I worry about offense. Okay, so we should have him next turn. Nice. Easy combat. Okay, so this kind of is the finding. I think we'll go with Chaos to start off with. Uh, loop was very interesting to, to me, but um, we need a little bit more offense. Uh, so, obtain a relic, lose Chaos. I'd rather lose the 7 cloud gold. We got Carrot. Gain 3 focus at the start of your turn. You lose 1 focus over the next 3 turns. Okay, that's pretty good. So, you start with 3 extra focus. So, this should be doing... Should I be doing six damage? Is that not right? Okay, steam barrier. Yeah, yeah it is. Took a little bit to update. Right, lightning, chaos, and strike to remove that one. Nice, nice. Okay, ooh, crystal and comic. So a crystal is, gives a Jason R plus two focus, when evoked, if you have fewer than three orbs, let's get orb plus. I kind of like that. What's the upgrade on that? Does it make it... And a random orb. We'll take that. It's very interesting to me. I like orb builds anyway, so... It's not that surprising. So, nothing right here. I think we're going to keep on and we'll try this lead out for style. I'm worried we're a little too defensive still. Um, so we're going to have to watch that. All right, I think we'll do defend, crystal conduit, that, ooh, two crystal. Not what I was going for. Because I think we need another orb to really benefit from that crystal. Doing nine damage, we'll do that. And I think it'll give us another orb slot. Actually, I think it would've done nothing if I'd evoked it. I think I'll leave it. Ooh, shared library in beta. Gain all powers an enemy has. Only applies the powers that you can have. And the upgrade, drop it one. Hmm. I don't think so. I think I'd rather have Sweeping Beam to start with. It's an interesting concept because the defect relies, can do a lot of stuff with powers. But I don't think it's right yet. Uh, I want to upgrade this to get the channel to one random orb. Makes it a little bit more useful. It pretty much makes it a chaos with a, like a guaranteed crystal. So we'll do that. Ooh, eight and eight to start off with. Uh, I guess we'll dual cast this one to start with. Okay, so, uh, got a lot of skills I'd like to play. I think I'll, I'll do another chaos. What is it? Water. Draw an extra card. Evoke, draw two cards. Water's unaffected by focus. It's not that great, because we kind of have like a crystalline focus build of some sort. Of some strange nature it would be. I don't think I can kill this boy yet. Uh, go ahead and use this block potion. Should be fine. Take a little bit of extra damage. Yeah, I need to start playing some more of our our other stuff. All right, we got a dark over in the back. Fifteen more damage, but he should be dead fairly soon. Good. Pretty aggressive hand. Sweeping beam. 
strike and strike. Not too bad. Stack pack every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain two HP. Really good if we were running a different build. And none of these are what we want. Kind of thought about overclock, but I don't think it's necessary. Runic Isosahedron. Okay, so right click during combat to activate. Once we're combat, we can re roll it. Pretty sweet. Mystery Machine. Uh, gains one charge. Every time you enter a question mark room, loses one time. Each time you each time you go between non question mark room. Random strength or dex each time. Ooh, that's awesome for me. I love the question mark rooms anyway, so the goal will be just to hit them. Oh, this is a bad turn. <laughs> a lot of damage coming in. Chaos. Zap. Ugh. Yeah, I was hoping I'd kill more of them, but it's fine. Whew. Rough. Alright, two more dead. We can kill this one, and then we'll do that. Okay, sort. Shuffle all not all rare or non-status cards. Back into your draw pile, draw two cards. Eh. And we'll continue with the crystalline conduit. Alright, so we want to kind of hit question mark rooms. So this was considered one, so we still, even though it's a fight, we still get the benefits of the mystery machine. I wonder if I could have, if I really tried, if I could have broken that this turn. I think I could have. Keep lowering them down. Okay. So this would be considered between two. I think that's four focused on these guys. Considered. Um, do I want to zap? No, I want to double block. I really don't want to take the eight damage if I don't have to. Makes the most sense, logically. Okay, so... Dual cast that out. Okay. A couple more slime. Oh, no, it gave me frail, not slimes. Ooh, what is this one? Hellfire. At the start of your... Gain four strength until the end of turn. Evoke, gain three strength until the end of turn and apply vulnerability to a random enemy. Interesting. It's a lot of like strange orbs that I'm not expecting. But that extra strength like helps you like easily push through some combat. Prom okay. Yeah, I'm just like cycling through cards that don't matter. Okay. Chaos, there we go. Uh, no, no. I think the cold snap will help us. It's more defensive and offensive potential than we really have. Okay. So that kind of sucks. What can I get here? Barrage, FTL. I think we'll go with FTL. Okay, let's kill this gremlin right here. For sure. Then, I'm trying to think. We got five defense for sure. This will give us another two, I think. Anyway, I can get more. Chaos, that's 10 right there, so that covers us. So we'll throw that out. All right, he's gonna keep hit healing, so we need to really focus kind of on that gremlin cook. That's awesome right there. Um, six damage to you. I'm already blocked, so. Oh, I didn't get you. I thought I did. Whatever it might be. There's that done, that done, and that done. Not bad. We do need a rest. I forgot we were so low. Another crystal conduit? Uh, I'm, I'm going with it. It's a weird one. Chaos. Now, we're going in pretty low on health, so... We need to keep, keep that in mind. And this is not... Not an easy one to to really do right here. Okay. Am I going to die? No, I'll take four. I could take none if I use that, but I think I'll save the plated armor for the boss. Now this turns the the one that was kind of shaky. I was kind of feeling like. All right, we'll do that. Twenty. So we block four full. I'm kind of surprised. All right, so this is the turn we should deal damage if we can. Um, 
full defend, and let's get another strikeout on him. So we could kill a bunch with his Dark Orb if we get the chance to. But I need to be able to roll it over. 6, 6 is 12. We're taking 18. So we've been out of 2. We, gotta, we have to do that. Not really much of an option there. But I think we will get out of this fight. A-OK. -okay. Bam. Why didn't that... Oh, I didn't dual cast it. Makes sense. Alright, so we gotta get 9 block each turn. And I don't know if I can. Um, sweeping Beam will draw another card, but um, 6 right here. So that plus this. Oh, I forgot I have this too. 18. At the start of turn, gain extra energy. That would been nice. Because it probably saved me from using that potion. And taking so much damage. Like, in general. Deflate dodgeball. You have a 10% chance to dodge attacks. Okay. None of those. Kind of not what I was wanting. I was hoping this would... uh have like a smith and rest like upgrade a random card and rest not really we'll dig bottle of fury choose a card you retain that card at the end of your turn okay maybe like dual cast could be a good one at least the hexa ghost scales to what your current hp is oh let's flip this baby three add three voids to it nice just what I needed was this uh, to be a little bit harder. All right, so he's only doing six. Let's try getting some chaos. Ah, uh, that one sucked. Oh, I messed it up. I forgot we ha we had the voids, but that was kind of bad luck. We got all crystal. Dang it! Oh well. I'll take the L. We'll try again. It was a weird one. The crystal's not nearly as good as I would have liked it to be. Oh, that's what I wanted. Embark. Okay, you got a better, better thing for us. Remove a card. Choose a rare card to obtain. Take 21 damage. We'll try that, though. I think we'll go Electrodynamics. It's such a good card. Okay, so... How do I want to go about this? A lot of early fights. Not many early question marks like I'd like. Um, elites. There's a two elite path over here. Well, no, it's only one. Well, it could be two. Early shop's not very interesting to me. I think we'll go this way. Get that out so we don't draw it again, pretty much. And it just gives us a whole complement of lightning orbs. Punch, punch, lightning. I am one strike should, and it's cultist. Claw, turbo, we'll take an early claw. Uh, I'm interested in seeing if we can get some more of those fire orbs. Uh, transform, upgrade a card. Let's go with remove and remove a normal strike. I think part of our problem last time is the cards we added didn't add enough offense to get through the boss. And then defend, and then we will claw you. So, seven here. Do that. Okay. Another chaos. A light chaos. I could have grabbed another claw, which I should have uh, considered a little more than I did. Um, claw, defend, strike, strike. Electro nine damage could have been good, but I don't see this being a very long fight. Also, the Hellfire I've not seen a lot, so I wonder if there's a lower chance for Hellfire. Um, so five there, another zap should do that. 
Calculate training. Gain one focus. Add one day to your disco power. Exhaustive too. And I don't really want that. We'll take another claw. Replace all our strikes with claws. Three cards into silent cards of the same type. Eh, I think I'd just rest. Alright. The two of you take shift and watch. There's more than just. Continue with your adventure. Interesting. Don't know what that was about. Um, I think we'll go rest, then elite. If anything, just for the upgrade. Upgraded chaos is way better than normal chaos. It's literally twice as good. And Gremlin Knob, the one I really didn't want to see. Out of all the all the uh, elites on the first floor. He is particularly bad against the defect. Because the defect has a lot of skills, in my opinion. I think we will chaos. Of course, you get two freaking crystal. I feel like crystal is way more prominent than it should honestly be. Another carrot, though. So three focus to start of a turn. Lose one focus over the next three turns. Uh, none of these. I thought about Thunderstrike, but the randomness of what we're doing doesn't lend as well. So can I kill it? Let's see what this does. No. Maybe. I definitely want to do that. Does this one come to five? It does. So we will kill this one. Oh, man. These little buggers are rough. Okay. Electrodynamics. Chaos. And I think that's it for them. That is correct. 7 HP. We need to uh, remember that. Channel 1 far off for each enemy. Deal 2 damage. Deal 2 damage to all enemies. Counts as claw. Start up. Six is no normal claw cards. Add 1 to your draw power. It's interesting. What's the upgrade? 4 damage. I don't... I don't think so. It's too much. Too expensive. I think I'll take a chill. The, def the, like, the defensive potential is a little more interesting to me. I'd like to go through this one with three question marks. Means you have to take the elite. Um, light bulb. If you have unspent energy at the end of your turn, draw that many cards at the start of your turn. Okay. A little bit of use. All right, Log of Ulin. So we can do both these to start with. Get our claws upgraded. I think we'll go ahead and play the chill. Oh, lightning woke him up. I forgot about that. I really wanted to get the electrodynamics out first. Ugh. So 14 is what I can block for. That's a rough start. Okay. Kind of really determined it. Like, deterministic on that chaos. I think we may be... Soup's dead. Let's drink this. Claw, defend, we're up to 12, we have to 15, yep, we are right at dead zone. <sighs> Got too risky, should have, should have rested. I don't like resting on the first floor though. Like the amount of stuff you can do and the amount of upgrades you really want to get kind of helps you throughout your run. Okay, enemies in the next three. Oh, yeah. We might can get two elites if we're lucky. If we're very lucky, which I'm always game to try for. Oh, white noise. I love white noise. Oh, we're not very lucky. We might can get one elite if we're sort of lucky. Reflective land, specialized circuitry. Type of orb. Anytime you channel an orb channel. Ooh. Okay. I'm feeling it. Upgrade two cards. Lose 15 HP. Fine with that. Dual cast is a good one. So I think we'll get one free elite. But I'm imagining either Blizzard or uh, was it Thunder? Thunderball? Thundercast? Shop here. Gain four orb slot. Ooh, this one's cool. Hidden compartment. Start each card. Remove card. Huh. Interesting. A uh, chill. We good? Yeah. I think we go chill. 
because if we use chill correctly, we can make like three or four lightning orbs with the specialized circuitry. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, I don't want to strike them. I want to keep that in mind. Yeah. Also, what I'm assuming it upgrades to be one cost. So it only does these three. So yeah, lightning is definitely the chosen card type you should go with, in my opinion. Do you have anything else I want to play? I think I'll still wait, though. Yeah. White noise. Electrodynamics. Oh, buddy. This is going to hurt. So, 15 each turn. If we can get something that gives a, a little bit of focus, it will be pretty good. Yeah, he has no chance. He's gonna hit us one good time here. Which we probably could have avoided if we would have, uh, like, maybe used the Venom Potion early. But, not worth it. Uh, put this in the opening hand. See, Blizzard would be the other way to do this. Do it with Frost. I like it. I can get behind that. So what is this upgrade to? Innate. Yeah. I'm 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 for this. All right, so the goal would be I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. It's going to take all of our energy to do this. But we don't have no defense in our hand anyway. So we want to make them all frost. White noise, electrodynamic should give us two frost. Yeah. So we're not going to be doing Blizzard is our main way to deal damage. But, like, we should be super defended now. We're going to start knocking that dude. 18. We need to play defend. And the goal is going to be to upgrade that white noise to make it more useful to start with. Capacitor. Zap is actually frost. Uh, you can't hurt us. So we'll strike this one. Oh, you can't hurt us for one. I thought I counted right. Defend. Strike, strike. So now we're kind of waiting on Blizzard. So getting a second copy of Blizzard would be pretty good for us. Dude, can you not not give me a Blizzard? Do that double negative kind of thing right there. Okay, Blizzard. And is this to all enemies? To all enemies. So right now we've channeled six, so it's 12 damage. Which is not... Terrible. I should have zapped first. Would have made more sense, but now we just need something that generates a lot of orbs, like chaos, uh, crystal conduit. Would actually be pretty good right now. Uh, I don't really need to. I have ten, so yeah. As much as dual cast would be cool, it's not channeling anymore. It's evoking them. So yeah, they cannot physically hurt me anymore. So we just kind of need to burn out the days and wait for the cards we want. But yeah, anything that gives us orbs kind of will go into this deck right now. Removing of the strikes would also be good. Okay. Should hit the other one. Like, no reason not to, but it's fine. And there we go. So 16 damage to all enemies. Funnel at the end of your turn. Unused energy, energy is converted to four, blo four block each. That's a good way to use it. Okay. Receive unblocked attack damage. Channel one lightning. Obtain the prayer real wheel relic. Fleeting. What's fleeting? And removes it from your deck. Uh, you may choose one of three random rare cards to permanently add to your deck. That's an odd one. Hmm. I think I'd rather have the Static Discharge, though. Which will end up turning into a Frost ditch Discharge, but that's fine. Tori, uh, whenever you receive five or more, or less unblocked attack damage, reduce it to one. It's pretty good. They want to continue these question mark paths. They have interesting stuff. A stinging cold from the ice jutting outwards. So, a bit, oh, this is the bird's nest one. I think we took Pungent Liquid last time, which was, um, the toxic egg, so toxic egg, flame egg, 
So these are all the eggs. So we want to go with this. This will give us all upgraded powers. Do I want powers or do I want skills? I think I want skills. So yeah, toxic eggs, take the inventory. So they lose a random common relic. No, I think I'll just take this one. Nice. Let's continue with the adventure. Ooh, obtain a relic. 50% curse with delirium. Curse with voices. I took a startup. Ethereal. Interesting. Two relics. I mean, sure. Addiction. Obtain three potions and add two random two potions. Each time you go through three rooms without using a potion, lose two max HP. Interesting. And this one is the star kind apply three week to all fighters and gain one buffer. Not sure what buffer is. And then we get chameleon ring, potion belt, and a bunch of potions. So we just need to use potions, which I'm fine with. We'll discard this one. Grab that one. And did we actually get a bunch of curses? We have voices and injury. Injury was from the other one. Voices was one we just got from this. Okay. So yeah, adds three copies of it to the deck. Not very much a fan of that, but it's fine. Creative AI, chill. But we can remove it. Kind of clutters up our deck a little bit. Um, I want to do this. And then this. I want to gain one buffer. That's what I meant by buffer. I was thinking it meant something different. Two cursor in addition to four. I mean, might as well play that. I'm not sure what it's doing, but. Split that up. Okay. Reflective lens, might as well play it. Static discharge. I was afraid that uh, at least the voices burn themselves out, actually. Like, yeah, they take up three, I guess, draw spaces, but in the long run, does that really matter that much? Uh, yeah, I was hoping for Blizzard quicker. Now let's play Crystallizer. Blizzard. 12 damage. Yeah, we could use a second copy of Blizzard. I do like Sweeping Beam, but I think I'll pass it up for now. Got all the voices. Ooh, they're all attacking on turn one. Really don't like that, but kind of going with what we got going. Ooh, Hello World is not really the one I want. Let's do that to start with. Oh, we did kill one. We take eight. Oh, we take four damage because of buffer. And then that turns into one. That's not bad. That's fine. Okay. So this is a weird deck. I don't know how it's going to do against bosses. Like, it's performing right now. I wouldn't say performing necessarily well. Blizzard just needs to... I need to upgrade Blizzard. Would probably help a lot. Ah, Leap's good. Good defensive card. Ooh. You all have to attack this time. Uh, you can retain up to seven energy between turns to the end of combat. Meh. Hoping one of these would do something more for me. Um, another. I don't think that's how. Don't think that's what I wanted. That's kind of poo. I guess I'll weaken one of these ones. And we will just take take our lumps. I guess I should have weakened the back. Oh no, they're all weak already. Oh, that was already from. I just extended their weakness. Now that. Pretty good one to have. Leap, capacitor, blizzard. Okay. Getting our chill upgraded would be a good one. And getting our white noise upgraded would be pretty, pretty relevant to what we're doing. Because chill kind of jump starts the frost making process. Actually getting another couple copies of chill would be really pretty good. Because then we have the frost, random power in our hand, and then the power we want to have are all, like, done. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't think they're gonna. He's gonna be able to hit me that much. Blizzard. Oh, I didn't do much damage to you, but I killed the other one, so makes sense. All right. Keep it going. Yeah, we don't have a lot of attacks either. It's kind of like all of the blizzard. I need some kind of like passive damage. Even yeah, even this whole combat, I only got up to twelve. Cool headed. There's another source of orbs. Okay, we can brew. I don't think we need to. Resting. Who are we fighting? Uh, I think smithing's gonna matter more though. And I think I'm gonna smith the white noise. Because getting a good power to start this could really make or break this fight. Echo form. There we go. That's literally like, what else could I want? And we'll punch him. So we are going to have to survive this first hit. But I think we got it with the buffer. Alright, Frost here. Cool headed. Let's just draw some cards. I didn't really want to draw Blizzard yet, but we'll play it. We'll let the buffer take this one. All right, now we do need to start walloping this man. Okay. Nothing else I really want to play there. All right, now this one's going to hurt if I don't do it correctly. I could gain 24 block here, though. Why not do that? Yeah, why don't I just keep blocking this man? Like, I, 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 I see what I could be doing, but... I'm kind of getting all the voices and all the garbage out of my deck. Getting all the powers played up. And then we will worry about him more in a minute. So this would do 16. Um, he's doing 32, which would kill me. I need to do 10 to knock him down. So I need to draw first. So I should draw. Well, I need to do 10 to knock him down. So I could get definitely do that. Let's draw first and see what we get. And then Blizzard does 12. Knocks him down for sure. Or not. Interesting. Huh. Not what I was really expecting to happen there. I'm confused on why the blizzard not... Like, it was supposed to do 12 damage. And why it didn't do 12. I don't know. I may have missed something. It's fairly, like understandable for me I dropped him now so that's all that matters okay it's a weird one okay I would rather do this again keep getting this higher up and yeah, that one did 22 um, I should play uh, no I, say I should play a potion I'm not sure I have two more it tells me right there. Okay, so double this. Play Blizzard. So, uh, so this actually works a little better in boss fights. But I do need some sustainability in the terms of uh, something to sustain, like gets more, uh, whatchamacallit, focus. Because right now our focus is very, very lacking. Echo form was kind of the best thing that could happen to us, though. Yeah, and we're going to draw up. I mean, could strike him some more, but at this point, we're just building the blizzard. Yeah, because now it's a 30 damage. Knocked him down. Should have done that a little differently. Could have gotten a couple more frost orbs played through like this. Draw through a bunch of them. Play a zap. You can't hurt me, man. Okay. 38 is 68. Okay, that'd be good. Ooh. Should have thought a little bit more before I did that. Ouch. He only has 12, though. One more turn. A lot closer than I was really expecting it to be for this fight. We did smith, though, instead of resting, so. Echo form, I think, is what we want. Isn't it for the next combat? No. 
I think without Echo Form, we're going to be in trouble because of the amount of Frost Orbs we need to put down. Uh, less map info. Transform and upgrade or less money. Hmm. I think Ectoplasm. The money hurts. Like, I would love to go to the shops, but it's fine. We're going to go to the city this time. We went to the jungle last time we made it through. Okay, let's hit the question marks up through there. I forgot. I still need to remove those voices. White noise. <laughs> Echo form. So I'm just going to let that one burn out then. Um, we're going to go with frost. And then we will strike this boy. Two echo forms are good, but I'm not too worried about it. So what do we play is double. Let's double capacitor. Chill. And, that. and then we will dual cast. Get a little damage downrange. So this fight's kind of going to suck. In a way. Um, because this dude's going to put a shit ton of dazes in our deck. If we're not careful. Do I think of what I want to play? I could just go heavy on striking him to death. Let's actually do this first. Cool headed. Blizzard. Even though Blizzard right now only does like 3 damage. I should prioritize upgrading the Blizzard. But I also want to upgrade the uh, the chill. Oh. Hmm. This is a hand. Okay. Draw three cards and gain two energy. That could be good here. They'll play that. Let's actually go ahead and drink this. We need to drink potions anyway. So I'm not too worried about that. Good lord. The amount of daisies we're getting is uncanny. Ow. 12 damage. Uh, I think I should double defend first. Blizzard and strike. Yeah, because I needed 32. So, we are doing something. I'll give it that. I don't think I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 14 to 24, just enough. I mean, might as well play it now. Oh, every fight takes 25.3 thousand years while we get the blizzard ready. Echo form is helping though. Uh, force field, recursion, uh, no. Not what we're wanting. Curse to K5, max HP, lose. I guess I'll do that. I don't really want another curse in my deck. Oh, Mimic Chest. Holds treasures. Okay, let's see what we get. Loop. All right. Get that chill going. Get this frost in here. Cool-headed. Blizzard. Now, oh, the more we punch him, the more these little treasure coins we get. I think I will go... Echo Form Leap. So I really don't want to pass it by. Okay, so capacitor doubled. Give him a punch. Give him a punch. And then we could actually echo form these uh, coins and get double the coins. Which I actually don't think will matter. I don't think we can actually pick them up. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, we don't really have any block. Here. Well, we got that block. So we're going to do this. Then we're going to punch the man. So I think this will take the gold away from us. Which that makes it. Yeah. Makes it kind of useless to us. And dual cast that. So pretty much we just want to get out of this. Taking the least amount of damage as we can. Okay, defend up. Which he do, he's not very dangerous. Okay, maybe he is more dangerous. Uh, do this one. Yeah. Leap. Defend. Just enough. Okay. Blizzard you twice. I wish using Blizzard 
equated to uh, upgrading Blizzard more. That'd be a pretty nice little caveat there. Okay, dual cast does mean nothing. Yeah, now we're up to 45 block. Playing, what, three defense? See, this is what I was worried about. Turns like this. Because it's not like the gold exhaust. So me playing it doesn't do much. It's literally just filling up my deck. So I should actually probably be playing it more. This seems like a waste. Okay. But I'm cycling through my deck relatively quickly. If I want to play the strikes, if I can. So yeah, this is a very defensive build. Blizzard. Oh, you're so close. Oh, bad say. You're so close, man. Back of Marbles. As vulnerable. Time trial potion to Jace Reed when it was the last turn. Okay, could be good. I don't like capacitors. I think pretty nice. I'm going to continue up the question mark path. Obtain Towel. Future Relic Rewards from Combat and Retain two choices. Nice. Pretty cool. Choices are always better. White noise, static discharge. Get the frost going. Oh, capacitor, cool headed. Alright. So we'll buffer the first one, which is pretty nice for us. Then strike, strike. Guess I could play Blizzard for like one. Didn't think it was worth it. Get that out there. Another static discharge. Defend, defend. The static discharge in hindsight might not be that great. If it was innate, no, because it doesn't go innate. It just uh, um, does two orbs instead of one. So yeah, it's. I don't think we're going to take enough damage to make it very much worth our time. I guess if we are in that bad of a state, you know... I should probably be worrying about other things because we're probably not surviving. I need to start using one of these potions. Uh, this is a really offensive hand, though. Need to add some more cards with some offense. Ball lightning would probably be pretty good. It'd be like ball frost, but yeah, eight damage there. Twelve damage. We're still not, barely breaking through his armor, though. He's one of the more annoying enemies to fight. Okay, yeah. We're definitely not going to this turn. Just enough to not do it. And Milkshake would also... Not Milkshake. Uh, ice Cream would also be pretty good. I think I'm going to take the Flex. Just to, like, get some damage on the boy. <laughs> Yeah, hit him again. Mostly to knock down his plated armor, so... On turns that I have two strikes, I can actually hit him. Alright, finish him off. Okay, another white noise. Yes. Thought about fabrication wheel, but... Decided not. Um, Upgrading Blizzard. It's our main source of damage, and it's taking a while, so... Kind of necessary. Oh, we got like the little curl up boys. White noise. Ooh, that buffer's pretty good. Going with frost here. Leap. Okay. So we're good on the first turn. Two buffers also is a pretty nice thing to have. Okay, I want to start uncurling these guys. If not, they're going to get really annoying really quickly. I think. Based on what I remember about him. Alright. Buffer's gone. Taking seven. Alright. Echo form. Do I want more frost? Yes. And then chill. Which is actually really good. Alright. So Blizzard should be really good for hitting all these guys. Unless he keeps shielding them. Which would be quite, quite annoying. Oh. Two electrodynamics. Looky there. So 22 damage now. Which, yeah. Was awesome. Curled up the whole party. I don't need to do that. Alright. Cool-headed. Just more of these going. 
Seven damage coming in. That's not really a worry. He has to have curl up, which is interesting. So for an elite, this one is definitely one we can definitely handle. Alright, upgrade that. Dual cast for no reason. Dual cast honestly could be removed from the deck in favor of zap, honestly. And if I only had more damage. Alas, I do not. Strike twice. Dead. Courier. Merchant restarts card relics and potions and all price reduced by 20%. Pretty good. Wait, return. It over Panagraph. I should probably pick Panagraph. I forgot I had two choices. Um, Hologram will be good to maybe pull back Blizzard. So I'm thinking. I don't want to do that. Bites are good, but I'm not really taking much damage. Matroshi or Flyswatter. Future card war trains will no longer be offered if you previously skipped them over Matroshka. Uh, I think I'll take Matroshka. I like the idea of Flyswatter, but I'm not too worried about it. The experiment. Remove my heart. I don't think... Well, I will try it. Lose 41 HP. Sure. Put you down to one. Yes. So yeah, the your max HP turns into a heart. It's temporary HP uh, equal to the relic's charge. And it recharges every time you do it. It's actually not bad. Uh, chaos is something we kind of want. Um... I think we'll do Chaos and Juzu Bracelet. I should have kind of probably went with Membership Card. But we're not going to restock our money anyway, so it's kind of fine. And then I'm going to remove uh, Voices. And we'll leave. So I think we have just enough to remove another card maybe. Alright, this Elite is going to be a little rough. Oh, I think our Max Agent... P was reduced? Not sure. Electrodynamics, really good. Machine learning, not bad. I'm sub I would really have liked... Okay. It was at the end of your our last turn. I think we're going to eat this damage. Um, well, yeah. I think. Of the frost. Um, actually, I don't know if I can do that. I can't reset it because this is for our HP, so this should be discarded, honestly. Now that I'm really thinking about it. Hmm. That's not good. Because we have 15 HP pretty much left. Do I want to echo form? Try to think of how I want to go about this. I definitely want echo form. I think what I'll do is I will chaos and then dual cast. And yeah, that will cover me. And we'll save our buffer for one more turn. We have echo form out. I think we can just kind of ride this train now. Okay, capacitor. Hologram back the blizzard or the chaos. I think we'll do... We can't play attacks because we're netted. So, chaos. And then this. Awesome. I think we can just, like, cruise now on this. Okay. Strike him, and that's it. Ooh. We are, uh... Out of stuff again. I'm actually surprised. I thought we were pretty well defended. You damage them, lose zero strength. I don't know if, like, I'm gonna max defend here. I should have played that other defend. I think that's plenty. Yeah. But we really need to get one of these guys down. I don't know how the other one really hit us. I honestly wasn't expecting it to. 
Pull back leap, play it again. Okay. Just wait it out. All that matters is the one HP we have left. We'll get the 15, I mean that back later. So 36, we we'll, should kill them all. Nice. All right, so here's our choices. Enhance, activate, gain one strength for every two orb slots. No. Unto energy, draw a card. Yes. Flash powder will stun all enemies. It's really wanted me to take Fabrication Wheel. It's gave it to me a couple times. I think we will try it. Why not? Um, I don't think resting matters, so we'll will smith. I think I'm going to upgrade chill. The first turn kind of is the one that's a little hard for us to not take damage on. Okay. Hello, friends. Capacitor. Chill. Specialized. Frost. Chaos. Strike you. Okay. Echo form and fabrication wheel in the same hand. Not really what I wanted. I think echo form is going to matter more to me. And then we will just, just strike. Because, yeah, we got plenty of stuff right there. All right. Dual capacitors. This. Strike you again. And then we are, yeah, we're good. I'm pretty much, I'm just trying to hold on to that buffer. Ooh, this is going to be a bad turn. Specialized circuitor, like, it's pretty nice, but I don't want it every turn, for being honest. Okay. Is this cleared off? Exhaust, remove them in the combat. It doesn't say from where, though. If it was from my deck, I'd be very, very interested. Okay, how much do I have here? Six, seven, eight. Eight times two is 16. I can double one of these cards, but I don't think it'll help. Well, let's double this dual cast, actually. That should actually help a lot. So it gave us 10. Do that and strike him. 34. We were one, we were a little short, so our Oh, that, that goes before our buffer. Okay, that's nice to know. Wasn't really expecting that, but... I assumed it was buffer, then temporary HP, but it's the other way around. Good to know. Okay, another blizzard. Should double it, should be in. Um, none of these. Smith another card. Thinking zap now. Our max HP is going down a lot. Uh, da -da. Hmm. I don't know why. I only assume it's because of this addiction thing. And we're not really like abiding by it. Okay. Frost. Okay, chaos first. I think so. Then leap, zap for free, hologram back. I think we'll hologram back to chaos and just keep chaosing. I think that's gonna be one of our big engines. Okay, white noise, electrodynamics. Go ahead with that blizzard. Do that. And what does he has? Piercing round. Oh, 50% of damage passed through block. Oh, that's not, that's not nice. So we're going to take six damage. Oh, I need to watch that. Um, echo form. 10 damage coming in. So five of it will go through my block. Crap. That's not a good thing. Hmm. I'm going to drink this just to get rid of that. I only have six here, so 
So we're going to take four damage anyway. Or does it do five and then one? I'm not sure exactly how it's calculating all that. Uh, I should just strike him. Strike the crap out of him. 50 damage. So, no. Stun this boy. That's not what I want to see. Um, Blizzard, I don't know how many I've channeled. But I do need to do a lot of damage to him, so. Yeah. Because that would have killed me. Oh, he's still going to do it this turn, though. Oh. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. I can keep going about it, but... I think we will survive for one more turn. If my math is correct. My, my understanding. Yep, buffer's gone. So we are down to this turn. And that's it. Because 50% will go through. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do. Yep, that's it. That's it. The piercing got me. It did not work very well with uh, the uh, bottled heart because you can't block block it, and you have such a little amount that you know didn't matter. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap up here. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.